Hey, it's Sandra from Crafted Bliss Studio. Today I'm here to share with you some birthday treat bags featuring the new Craft and Desert Divas birthday treat bag add-on SVGs. Now you do need an electronic die cutting machine to use these SVG files, but they are perfect and coordinate well with the treat bag dies from Craft and Desert Divas. I've already prepped my bags by running the die through my die cutting machine. I've scored everything and I've added some score tape to the flaps of each of my party bags. Some additional products that I've used in this video are distress inks, some Nuvo black drops in black, a clear wink of Stella pen, and a white gel pen. I'm going to start off by showing you how to make the little raccoon and putting him together. As you can see, we've got all the different parts to the face, including a little party hat with stripes. I've pre prepped his little face by using some black distress ink and various colors that match my card stock. So let's go ahead and put this little raccoon together because he is just so cute. So for his larger pieces, I'm using some Tombow Mono Liquid Adhesive to be able to put those down just so that I have some extra time to move them around and get them in the perfect place. Then for the smaller pieces, I'm going to be using a glue pen, something with a smaller tip just because I don't like the liquid adhesive oozing out. And I'm also using my tweezers here because these pieces are kind of tiny. So they're really helpful in help and you know getting that glue on and getting the piece in the right place. So then after I get his eyes glued on, I'm going to go ahead and work on the ears. I'm using the liquid glue again. And this is just a little tip. I folded my treat bag on the score lines and now I'm adhering the ears to my raccoon just so that they're not sticking outside the edges of the bags. I think um, it's just helpful. It does take a moment for that glue to dry though, so don't, um, don't fret if it falls off like it did in mine. Um, pretty much everything else is self-explanatory here, so I'm going to go ahead and add some music and come back to you later. So now that I have my little raccoon together, I'm going to set him aside and here we're going to begin working on our little panda. Now he is adorable. Again, we have our ears and all the little parts that go in the ears. We have all his eye pieces, his mouth and his nose, and then I've already inked up his main part. And then of course we have a star for his party hat and a pom-pom.
So my panda's just about complete. I'm just adding some Nuvo drops for his eyes and then I'm going to set him aside to dry and we're moving on to this cutie patootie fox. All right, as you can see here, our fox has some ears and eyes, nose and mouth, just like our previous two critters, but he also has some fur for the top of his head. I've already inked up all my cardstock pieces and we are going to put this little fox together. So while I was putting my little fox together, my husband came up to chat with me and he decided to send me a little message. So now that our fox is complete, I'm going to go ahead and sit him aside to dry and I'm going to start on our little pig. Our little pig has the same ears, but it has a snout for nose and then we have our eyes and our mouth. And of course, I've inked everything up with inks that coordinate with the colors of the cardstock.
So once you have all of your animals complete, they are ready to be attached to a treat bag. I chose the colors of their hats to coordinate with my pattern paper, and I adhered each of the animals with some foam tape to the bag. In the pictures, you'll see that I also further embellished them with some baker's twine and a tag, and I stamped each tag from Craft and Desert Divas, simply said stamp sets. All of the products that I've used in today's video will be listed in the description below. Thank you so much for joining me and I hope you have a wonderful day.